Hello everybody. What we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about using Screencastify, the Chrome plugin or extension. I always get them mixed up. Anyway, what you're going to do, obviously from the Chrome web store, you're going to search Screencastify. And it should probably be the first one that pops up and you'll just click add to Chrome and then add extension. As soon as it's done uh, installing, it'll show up right over here, unless if you have like a billion um, plugins. So when you're ready to use it, well, it probably won't record from the Chrome Web Store, but I'll just open a new presentation, anything really, and I'll click this button. Let's see what happens. Okay, so sign in with Google. Great. Sign in with Google. Uh oh. Let's see. It's going to make me do two step authentication. No. Sweet. It didn't. Next. Allow. So obviously, just follow the steps. Great. So let's close that. I don't want that right now. Okay. So let's try this again. I'm going to click right here on the Screencastify logo. I'm going to enable the microphone. If I'd like the webcam to be on, I can click that. Um, you have the option to record your browser tab. And we're going to actually do that one because there's a few cool features there that I wanted to show you. Uh, you can record your entire desktop, which is great, or your webcam only. So let's go ahead and click record. Um, you might have noticed. Three. Oh, two, great. One. Gave me a countdown. So there I am at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, you might have noticed that when I clicked on this logo and I started the recording, it said I had 44 out of 50 recordings left a month. Um, you have 50 recordings per month if you're using the free version, which I am. I don't really see why people would pay for a screencasting program. Um, not that I'm biased or anything. Anyway. So the tools that I wanted to show you, so when you're doing the tab only, um, you've got your pause recording button over here, you've got this mouse pointer, and you can do any of these. So highlight your pointer. I, it looks like it just puts a circle around it. Uh, you can hide the cursor when it's not moved, or you can focus the mouse honestly not really sure what that means I'd love to go back and play with it okay um, I can actually draw on the screen obviously I'm a great artist so I can erase this mess that I've made badly man using a trackpad is not very fun um, what does this do show webcam great show clock Oh, I've been recording for a minute, 25 seconds. I should probably finish this up and stop wasting your time. Okay, so I've paused recording, whatever. So I'm clicking back on here, stop button. There's probably like Countdown. a... So there I am at the bottom shush. of the hand. There's probably like a quick um, key combination that will stop the recording faster. So what you can see right here, it's automatically uploading my video to Google Drive, which is awesome. I really like that about Screencastify. Um, other people say that you should always click share over here and then share to Google Drive, but it's already done. I don't know why they're paranoid, whatever. Uh, easily you can change the name of your presentation if that's something you need to do. You can download it directly onto your computer. You can click share. And what I like about this, you can share it directly to YouTube. All of my videos pretty much go straight to YouTube. So that's an awesome tool. You can crop and trim. You can edit this. Watch, this is going to be, you have to use Screencastify Premium. Or is it beta? Sign in. I was already signed in. Whatever. You can play with that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then you can delete your website, that's fine. Comments appear. You can add comments, or I guess you can allow others to comment, whatever. And I think that's it, guys. That should do it. 
So thanks for hanging out.